we're back with another TVR video. Let me take this jacket off. Hi. Today we're going to do a little bit something a little bit more fun. We're going to be wrapping everything because it is wrapping season and it's Christmas holiday season and you know everyone's going to be wrapping stuff and I thought it would be so much fun. So it is November 14th. I did say in my last TBR video that by November 15th I should have all of my TBR finished. I read two books on the TBR and I'm going to put them right here. I read Big Swiss and I also read Wildflower. Uh, I bought the book Wildflower a few weeks after and I read that and I don't know that TBR just wasn't as it wasn't exciting me I never really wanted to touch it so this time I decided to make a TBR with some new books that I bought and some old goodies that I want to finish this holiday season this TBR is until next year then I'll try to do like a monthly TBR that's my goal <clears throat> if I sound a little weird it's because I'm a little sick so yeah i'm gonna show you guys everything and then we're gonna wrap everything and then we'll decide what we're doing for the first few weeks of the tbr season i'm gonna show you guys the oldies but the goodies that i have on my tbr yeah so these are the older books that i just had sitting on my tbr for a little bit too long so the first book is sarah J's mass assassin's blade this book has been sitting on my tbr since the summertime and i really just want to start getting i really want to start on this series so this one i got this book for christmas last year it's better than the movies or this year no last year so i want to get to this christmas summertime and then this book this has been on my tbr for the entire year basically and it's a quart of silver flames i did start it i stop it i started i stop it i started i stop it i don't know like this book is just really long so those are my oldies but my goodies and then my new books well let's go with my christmas books i do have a few christmas books i have the christmas fix by lucy score i believe this came out this year I'm not sure I didn't see this before and I went through all of her repertoire when I first read um the blue book I forgot what it was called and then last year I bought the Santa suit by Mary Kate Andrews um and I never read it before Christmas time so these are my two Christmas books for this Christmas season and then some books that are kind of like mid and I bought not too long ago but they're here I have it's most of my TBR, and then I'll go in with my new releases and stuff like that that I bought recently and that we're going to put on our TBR. So I got the X-Hex. This one I did start reading, and I'm about 25% through, 45% through the book, so I do want to finish it this time just because I pretty much have done all of it. And then I really want to read Once Upon a Broken Heart. I started reading until like chapter 3 or so, or chapter 2. Yeah, no, three. I'm on chapter three right now. I did really want to start it. Now that the series is completed, I really feel like I should really get into it. And then we have The Atlas Six by Olivia, Olivia Blake. In my last video, I didn't know how to pronounce her first name, so I still don't. So I really want to start this one. I just think this gives, like, summer, like, not summer, but this gives, like, darker vibes, like, wintertime and stuff like that. And I normally do read a lot because winter break and stuff like that happens. Then I have my Dark Vanessa. This is in my TBR for the last season. I still really want to read it. It's just not something that I want to pick up automatically, like, right away. But anytime I want a sad book or a book that's going to teach me something, I'll probably pick this up. Then this is my a newer pickup of mine, Air. Aaron, Aaron, this is the book one of the inheritance cycle and i've heard so many good things about this a lot of people have told me like if you read for free and you want something similar this one would definitely be fun i picked this up because it was buy one get one free or 50 percent off at Barnes and nobles and i got this one and i got fury boy i really did like get into this book i got into chapter 18 but it's a bigger book and i was just not liking one of the point of views as much as the other one so i would like that pov really dragged out for me and it's only one chapter i just really had a hard time finishing the chapter and nothing really exciting is happening but i really am liking the book right now i'm just gonna wrap it and pick it up whenever it gets chosen and those are my new pickups but they're not newly released and these are new release or new to me so of course i have my well i'm gonna start with this book i was at target with my friends and i saw it and it had this on it which i thought was a sticker it is not a sticker 
and I was like, I just have to have it. I did start reading it on my Kindle, and this is Lovely Design by Lauren Asher. I read all of the Dreamland Billionaire, then I read all of the uh, F1 series too, so I do really like her writing. I don't really, I, the books kind of drag on to me, so I do skip some chapters or I skim a lot of the chapters, but I decided to like the, uh, to read it, and I'm really loving it because it's Hispanic representation, the, also the writing is so good. I really love that it, I don't want to spoil it, but it's so, so good, and it really has like a deeper message, and I think this is probably going to be one of my best series, like my favorite series from Lauren Asher, the uh, Lakeside Billionaire series. I'm really loving it. And then I was at, I was during my break, I went to Barnes & Noble's because I work right next to Barnes & Noble's and they were doing some author signing of local authors and I met with uh, Morgan Vila and really like the book detracted me because it was fantasy, I see a dragon, she was also really really kind and I like just asked her like oh like what is this about, like this is so cool and she explained the book to me and now I am intrigued. Did I see something in here? Yeah, and then she signed the book, and she was the absolute sweetest. So if you haven't heard about this, this is Vanish. This is page. So this is Vanish. This is a Guardian story. I'm not sure. This has. She says that the the first two books are out, and then there's another book coming out in January of next year that really is gonna like wrap up the story. So she, this it's a fantasy series um, where it's like cross worlds and stuff, and very excited to read it. it has dragons but this guy turns into a person too so it's, it's cool and then she's like comes from this in like immortal mortal world doesn't really know like these things are real but they are and she like has a feeling that they're real but she doesn't believe it and then this is probably my most anticipated read um this year and definitely i hope this is like one of the books i get chosen first because i got iron flame I went and got the, I went to Target immediately and I went and got this one and then I made an impulsive decision like I went on my break the day that this book came out and then I went and got the Barnes and Noble's fourth point exclusive. Now I have all three books on my shelves and they work so well together bro. The designers are genius and the fact that I know that these are going to be a five book series. Like I need to prepare myself for the amount of books that I'm going to have. And these are, these are big, and they all are going to have to be hardcover. They cannot be paperbacks. And oh, this book is just so good. I'm excited. I did start reading, like, the first page of it. Just because I haven't, I haven't really touched it too much, just because I've been trying to get through Fury Board. So, yeah, I haven't touched it. But now I'm so happy because I have the sprayed edges of Four Fring as well, because before I did not have the sprayed edges of it. So I have the non-sprayed edges. I have the sprayed edges. have the exclusive. We had these ones. Oh, I'm so excited. So now we're going to wrap up all of these books. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen books to read by December 31st. I'm so excited. My birthday's coming up. It, it is 521. We're going to time this to see how long it takes me to wrap all these books. First, I need to find where the tape is. Sam, you keep making smart ideas. What about issue is?
cannot look at these braids too much because I will notice how not right they are. But anyways, I was only able to wrap 10 of my books, so as we go, I'll rewrap them and whatever. Um, so yeah, let me show you guys. I am eating my dessert for the day. Look at them. I'm going to set them over there because that's where I put my TBRs. I'm hating the ends of my hair. Anyways, so that's where I put my TBRs for them for the seasons so right now i'm gonna pull up a number generator and i think i'm gonna choose i'm gonna do it every week so then the next video vlog style you'll see all the books i'm gonna choose one to ten perfect so i think i'm gonna choose like let's say like two books i think i read two books a week so three so choose the third book so now we're gonna generate nine I think I know which one this is, and that's fucking exciting. We have nine here, and I think I know which one that is because I only marked, yeah, I know which one it is. Four. Did I skip over four? One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I did skip over four. Love that for me. One. Okay, so we chose the three books that we're gonna you guys are gonna see in my next vlog, reading vlog. So let's start with the one that I just picked up. I'm gonna try to be careful of this, which I may need to reuse these. Okay, so the book is My Dark Vanessa. So this book is about this girl Vanessa and it's like goes two different timelines when she's 15 and she's in a relationship with a teacher and then back to the regular timeline I think where she's in a therapist's office and she's talking about how fucked up this relationship was so that's that one I'm really excited my best friend really loved this book so I'm very excited to read it next one I already know this one it may possibly be Iron Flame I'm almost like I'm like 95% yeah it is which is exciting because I've been a little sad that I haven't read it yet, so. Okay, Iron Flame it is. This one's just a continuation of Fourth Wig. I think we're just gonna, I don't even know what this book is about. The first year, so we're done with the first year. Now we're dealing with the second year where they're really training and like everything gets more serious. And if you guys have read the back of the book, the last chapter of the book, uh, Fourth Wing, you guys know. But I'm most excited about that plot twist. And then I'm really hoping this is a Christmas book to really start off this this season off right. A little, yeah, I think this is the egg cut. Yeah. <laughs> really just stayed on my dark theme. Cool. So the first books of my choosing books blindly are... Flame. So my first couple of books that I have to read this winter season is My Dark Vanessa. Then we have The X Hex. This book is about two witches, um, Vivi, Vivi, and she 10 years ago puts an X on her ex and when he comes back 10 years later to do something that he has to do um, family wise, he's falling apart and, uh, and the town is too. Then we have Iron Flame, just to continue a fourth wing, so we're able to get some of our answers, quest our questions answered, as well as we sell it, as well as we see a continuation of Violet, Xanon, and everyone else's story. So if you guys like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe.